Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have got some major plant rescuing to do. I've got three anthuriums that have just been, honestly, they've like never really been happy with me, but they um, are especially not happy with me right now. So I think we need to go ahead and get them out of their pots, get the soil off of the roots and see what's going on and then repot them in a much nicer substrate than what we have going on right now. Actually, I mean, I guess what we have going on right now isn't terrible. We will obviously see soon, but I did get some new substrate to work with. Um, not like fully new. I mean, new, new bags, obviously, but um, it's nothing like new that I haven't used before, but I'm really excited. I have a little bit mixed up already and it looks just gorgeous. So yeah, I'm really excited. Let's just get on into it here because after I film this video, I also need to go drop off some plant mail to actually one of you guys, one of my lovely subscribers. You know who you are if you're watching this video. And um, yeah, so I've kind of, I'm not gonna lie, I have, oh, I have been putting off, um, going and dropping that off all day today because it has been so nasty and gray and rainy. Like it's been raining cats and dogs out here. But once I finish with this repot that desperately needs to be done, then I'm gonna go. And I think I'm actually gonna take Six Toe and Luna with me. And um, after I drop off the package, then I'm just gonna like park somewhere and we're gonna go like walk around one of the nice little neighborhoods like down like in, I don't know, it's not old town cause nothing about it is old, it's all new, but just like kind of downtown Mill Creek, I guess if you wanna call it that. It's also not really a downtown. I don't know how you would describe that, but we're gonna go find a cute neighborhood and kind of walk around a new neighborhood and it's just gonna be like a fun sniffy walk for them. So I am excited about that as well. So let's just get on into it here and I'm gonna show you the plants that we have to work with because yeah, they, they're not looking good. I'm gonna show you this first one here. I'm sure you are well acquainted with her. This is my, this is my Anthurium Papilaminum cross magnificum verde this guy i got from equigenera i believe i loved this plant when it first got to me it was so beautiful and it dropped all of its leaves after a while and it was just a stump and ever since then i've never been able to keep more than like one leaf at a time maybe maybe so um yeah we're gonna de uh, not de root her but depot her and see what's been going on but look at that it's just always starts to yellow this is not like a super old leaf either so yeah she's gonna be back to a stump soon there is like a little tiny bit of new growth here that little like red bump if you can see um so hopefully Hopefully she's gonna be okay. Definitely let me know any of your um, recommendations care-wise for these guys because I'm kind of at a loss. I'm like, uh, I know I need to be better about like giving them good plant food. I think that's maybe a factor. I think maybe they need some more CalMag perhaps. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments though, for sure. I'm really interested to hear your guys' thoughts because y'all are so freaking smart out there and you have like, some of you have like, just incredible plant collections and have been collecting for so long. So y'all are just like a wealth of information. Did I say that right? We're gonna go with it. Okay, anywho, let's, uh, let me show you the next plant here. All right, this is the next plant. This is my um, Anthurium crystallinum. This is one of my crystallinum. And she at one point was actually doing really well. She had a ton of leaves at one point. I wanna say like, six plus leaves or something and it was doing really well and then it all of a sudden just like totally tanked so yeah it's got this leaf and this beauty right here as well so not doing great um it looks like there's a little teeny tiny maybe two growth points it looks like there's a growth point right here by my finger um right here by my chipped nail. So hopefully you can maybe see that. Um, so yeah, it looks like there's maybe gonna be something happening here soon. But yeah, and I haven't seen any active pests on any of these plants in a while. I've been really good about keeping these guys like sprayed down, cleaned down and sprayed 
with like pest preventative goodness. Um, so yeah, no active pests on these guys in quite some time. So I think at this point, it's just like a major me thing. <laughs> I take full responsibility. Um, and then this is the last plant that we're going to repot today. This one, I am sure you've, if you've been around, you've heard me, you've heard me um, complain um, and struggle with this plant for some time. This is my forgetty eye. Oh, this plant. You're so pretty. Why, why won't you act right? Oh. So yeah, this is my uh, forgetty eye. This leaf was like looking pretty darn good. I mean, she's got the full shape there. Look at that beautifully like round closed sinus. Oh, but that color is not right. It's just not right at all. And this one's kind of backwards where it's like getting discolored from the top down rather than bottoms up. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think on this one. This is her sexy little like, <laughs> just the top leaf. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, but it has had a little teeny tiny growth point. Let's see if it'll focus for me. It's so dark now, but yeah, there's a little tiny growth point. It's been there for a while. Um, so I don't know if it's actually going to do anything, but we are going to get them out of this giant pot here. And I have, um, some smaller pots ready to go. I took these little, um, pots here, there was just wheatgrass in them. So yeah, I got these little guys. So I think these are gonna be a much more suitable size, at least I'm assuming. I'm assuming the roots aren't great. You know what I'm saying? So if I need to grab larger pots, I can, um, but I'm assuming we're gonna be downsizing quite a bit. We'll see, we'll see. But this is what I feel like, we're, I feel like this is gonna happen. <laughs> so especially, for this guy, I mean, that's not nearly as crazy. Let's do some inspecting of these roots, shall we? Let's go ahead and get started here. I feel like it just got super dark, because maybe it did, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna power through. Okay, let's start with the littlest guy first, because I feel like it's the least, it's the least scary. There's a loud playing going by, so. My apologies, but anywho, here she is. Hold on. It got so dark. Okay, that's a little bit better. But yeah, here she is. Anthurium papilaminum cross magnificum verde. It does not want to focus. Um, all right, let's no, let's just take a look here. Okay, so I have like a large mound of sphagnum that looks honestly at this point really old and kind of gross. So let's peel that off because I don't feel like that's doing us any favors at this point. Nope, no favors. Um, yeah, I should have done this a long time ago. Oh, that's so sad. Holy crap. You guys. Oh, no. No freaking wonder. Oh my God. I guess I'll show you. I'll show you what I've done. Here's our beautiful anthurium. Look at this. That's tragic. That looks, look at that. That's terrible. Oh no. Just had to rip it off because it was already, oop, it was already like tearing itself. That's so bad. Oh, oh no. Yikes. Okay, hopefully, uh, hopefully this can be salvaged. Um, wow, holy crap, holy. Honestly, this whole like bottom chunk just feels like it's kind of squishy. I think I should just chop it. Oh no. Luckily I accidentally took home a razor from work. Yeah, it feels like squishy. 
Oh no. Okay. So it feels like kind of squishy right here. Can you see that? I don't know if you will be able to tell, but um, I think I'm going to chop it like right under these roots right here, just right under there. <sighs> I'm scared. Okay. Um, I've got my this. Can you see? Hopefully you can kind of see. All right, well, that was freaking brutal, and I totally knocked off the two decent roots that I had. <sighs> okay, well. I'm just reminding myself that it is okay if I lose this plant, and if I lose any plants, because it's not like I'll never be able to get them again. And I'm telling myself that I will be in my own space soon where I will be free to bring in any other plants that I want. And if I want to bring these plants back from the dead, meaning buying them again, I can. So it is a okay. I don't want to throw this chunk away. I don't know why. I just, I don't want to. I'm going to just do something with it. Maybe I'll put it in water. Maybe I'll put it in sphagnum. I'm going to do something with this and just see, see what we can have happen. So I'm just going to sit her to the side. Um, and then this little guy, ugh. Oh, <sighs> that was most unpleasant. As I was saying, after I got dirt in my mouth, and it tickled my lip. Getting a tickle on your lip is one of the like worst sensations. If you ask me, let me know if you agree. Anyway, um, with this little guy, I'm going to um, just set her to the side. I'm not going to do anything with it at this very moment. Um, and then I think I'm going to, I don't know, honestly, I honestly don't know. I think I might put this Maybe in a little tiny cup of sphagnum moss um, and just see what we can have happen. I think maybe that's what I'll do, but I'm going to set it behind me for now. Okay, let's move on to the next two. Hopefully they're not as bad because that's honestly not as bad as I was expecting or no, it's much worse than I was expecting it to be. So yeah, hopefully this next one's not as bad. Let's just see. Take this wrapping off of here. We're doing the forgetty eye next, if I didn't say, which I don't think I did. Um, okay, get off of here. <sighs> Deep breath. Let's hope it's not as bad. Get the sphagnum away from it. This is making me rethink the whole sphagnum around the roots thing, but also some of my other anthurium that are doing really, really well that do have the sphagnum around the base. They seem to be doing well partially because of that, because their roots are just like popping off like crazy around there. So I just don't know. I just, I just don't know guys. Okay. Oh, this is much better. Yay. Oh, I'm so relieved. Okay. Hold on. Let me, can you still kind of see what's happening over here? They'll suck her out the way. So already oop, much better roots happening on the forgetty eye. So that's a big, big relief. Let's just see if I can get rid of some more of the soil here. Uh oh, I'm definitely going to need to get a different size pot because this is going to be far too small for all of this. 
but these roots actually look really good. Check those out. That looks pretty darn delicious. Some forbidden, forbidden spaghetti. What? Forbidden spaghetti. There we go. I don't know, you guys. Don't ask questions. I don't. I try not to, clearly. Okay, but I do think that this pot will be a good... Oh, no, maybe not. Hmm. Let's see. Let me try to loosen these up a little bit more. really good. So I, just don't, I don't think that's going to be big enough either. I'm going to need one that's a little bit bigger than this. So I'm going to have to dig into my um, little box over there to get a pot out. So for now, I'm just going to set this to the side and let's go ahead and inspect the roots of this other one. And then we will do the repot. Hopefully for both of these plants at the same time because that first plant's not getting any sort of actual repot today, unfortunately. <laughs> so let's see, hopefully this guy's better. This one did slash does seem to enjoy, let me show you the, um, the sphagnum. Do you see all the roots here? So they were growing like out and into the sphagnum moss. So this plant did actually enjoy that to some extent. Very decent roots, check those out. Looking pretty good. So. Again, we are gonna need a larger pots. So, let's search in here real quick. Hiya! Let's check this guy. Okay, I know that's a little bit tight, but I actually think that's going to be perfect for right now because I really like this guy to be able to focus on his leaf growth and not his root growth because his roots look great. They're doing fine. So I think we might stick with that guy. So let me see if I can find another. Maybe this guy. Perfect. Bam. I love it when things happen just easily. Every once in a while it happens, you know? I'll show you a little bit I have mixed up already, but I just think it looks so, so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think it's quite nice. So this is technically a um, soil-free substrate, which just sounds so fancy, doesn't it? But it's really, not that fancy. So let me show you what I'm using. That's gonna be loud, I apologize. But um, I found all of this stuff at my local Lowe's. So I'm sure that you can find this at any local big box store that you have around you. And if not, I'm sure you can find it on Amazon or some other um, like online retailer. But this is what I've used. So this actually, I wanna say is actually the first time I've used this particular one, which I was, um, I didn't realize I grabbed it and then I got to the front and this is what I had in my hand along with the one that I usually grab. And I'm actually super glad that I got this one as well because it just like mixes in beautifully and adds a little bit more um, like nice different size goodies in there. So this is the Guller Orchids Orchid Grow Mix and this is the fine grade. And it just, um, it looks so beautiful. There it is, the fine grade. So pretty. And then I got a bag of what I usually get, 
which is the um, Orchid Grow Mix coarse grade. So same company, um, same mixture of stuff, just the coarse grade. Try not to spill it. Okay, so the coarse grade is over here, the chunkies, and the fine grade is here. Bam. Okay, and then I got, I just got one other item. Um, I'm trying to keep it really, really simple. What? <laughs>